it's me again. Um, having a really bad hair day in case you can't notice. Can't do really anything about it right now. So I showered and I fell asleep in with the towel, well my hair in the towel. I also fell asleep while my candle was lit because I was reading, of course. And it's my banishing candle that I paid like $16 for. Mugwort. Smells so good. AKA Hecate because she I'm talking. I'm gonna talk about symbolism in Hecate because everywhere I look is where it seems sh like she's just giving me all these symbols of her. It's really kind of freaking me out. But yeah, this is my candle. This is what happened um, when I fell asleep. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can. Um, but yeah, it basically uh, kind of looks like Pompeii, <laughs> like a, a volcano erupted. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so hopefully that banished enough negativity in the room for uh, a couple weeks because my candle's destroyed. Oh, it's craziness all over the carpet and everything. <clears throat> but yeah, so um, the first symbol of her, this was before, I meet a lot of people at the bookstore. Whenever I'm um, at the bookstore and I'm looking up a book in the New Age section, I always meet people. We become like best friends like instantly. <laughs> we're in the same section of the bookstore um so okay I didn't know I don't know where I got all my information it's kind of just random spread out through all the readings I've read and books and stuff but I know that mugwort is a symbolism a uh, symbol of Hecate um obviously the triple moon she represents the crone this was a necklace um it just came with like a black string and I didn't really like it um but you know I met someone at the bookstore I was wearing it and they were like oh Hecate it was a guy and I was like what <laughs> like I hadn't been you know I hadn't really been too far into the path yet I just knew it represented the goddess and when he said the name I was like okay and then I figured it out later so <laughs> it's kind of funny um this actually this little piece right here I made this used to be part of my pendulum that broke which I made into a necklace so I make jewelry and stuff um, so this is clear crystal quartz it protects me I wear it all the time um, so this broke made into a necklace and when I was doing a ritual read like I was working with Hecate I actually remembered that I had this I totally forgot I had this and it's funny because it just sits on my MacBook it's got like the MacBook has a magnet or whatever so it just hangs there <laughs> doesn't come off even when I move it but yeah I'm blabbering so um okay I also saw this this reminds me of her also I, I usually just act, you're gonna well it's, it's like a seashell or um half seashell it looks like coral but doesn't this kind of look like the moon and I don't know if you can see it's really pretty um it's got really pretty colors and light probably can't see it um, anyways, and um, I also didn't know that sandalwood is associated with her. I have sandalwood incense, and it smells amazing, and mugwort, I had no idea. Sandalwood, mugwort, uh, lavender, um, all that she's associated with. So, you know, when I call upon her, I light this, I light that, I get my... Oh, I have a whole collection of seashells I've had since I was a baby, and I... I also read somewhere else a while back that um, the the seashell like this represents the goddess also. So she's so this sits on my altar. Also, this does too. Um, it's another seashell. Um, so I have a lot of things that kind of represent her that just fly out at me. Also, honey, <clears throat> honey is showing up everywhere. Bees, honey, honey in the on TV, honey on my 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 thermostat it says Honeywell. I'm just like, oh my god, what the fuck does honey, excuse my language, I'm just like, what the hell, oh my hair's a mess. Um, if I see one more thing that says honey, or talks about honey, or just anything, oh my god, everything has been just honey, and then bees are all around my house, and believe it or not, I made my, <laughs> there's a tree outside, I'll have to show you it later, it's really pretty, I, I haven't even tried figuring out what kind of tree it is, um, <clears throat> but uh, I actually, you know, I gave it an offering, broke off a branch or two. Actually, I had my husband do it because I couldn't reach. And it's, it's weird. It's like white. It's got 
um, like little flowers around it. So I picked up a stick, I wrapped the branch around it, and then I taped it. And now it's, it's like my little wand. So I love it. I don't know if you can see. I just, it's kind of a cool idea. This is my wand. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. What else was I going to talk about? Yeah, that honey is like haunting me. It's just showing up everywhere and everything. And just, uh, and, and I finally, I just read somewhere like the other day, um, you know, honey, she's, I guess, associated with honey. Um, forget why. I really, I just get all this information in my head and I'm like, where did I, ha like, I just need like proof again. Because it's like such, it hits you like crazy when you're like, oh my god, no way. Ravens, oh my god, crows. Never seen a crow. I know this sounds kind of stupid, but you know, I, I was I lived in Boston, um, so I just moved to Osh like California. And when I was there, I don't know. I, I don't remember ever seeing a crow. And like, um, it was weird because you know it meant nothing to me at first. When I moved over here, <clears throat> I'd go outside, and every day this crow was like sitting on the like the porch cross from me, like staring at me. I thought he was gonna try to eat my dog. Then I was, thought he was going to try to eat me because I realized, um, I had looked it up, they like sparkly things and I had like two million bracelets on my arms that were all sparkling and I'm like, it's probably going to attack me. They like shiny things. I guess if you look in their nest, it's, it's all like shiny junk, it said, but um, they just like shiny things. So I'm like, it's going to eat my dog. It's going to eat me. I got to take off my jewelry. Um, stares at me every day and I'm like and I thought it like kind of represented like death or darkness but it's actually like um the crone it's uh it represents you know the god the crone goddess uh Hecate so also you know black dogs bats toads owls snakes um all that my and it's funny because a while back my husband actually had a snake oh my gosh I loved it loved it loved it loved it um, I would just, I would carry it around with it around my neck. People were like, you're crazy. I'd be so scared. Oh my God, I love the snake. His name was Sniper. Loved him. And then he ran away or my husband lost him. I have no idea, but I always think about that snake. Um, so yeah, um, dandelions, the mugwort candle. I had no idea. I just got the candle because I needed a black candle. And then I had read along that, you know, so I have all these things to work with that just kind of fell in my lap. Um, I'm trying to think what kind of flowers, hazel, willow, trees, um, cypress, what else? Uh, I don't know, she just, she's like everywhere, like in me, like just surrounding me. Um, when I got this necklace, well it's not a necklace now, I kind of made it into a little charm thing to just hang here. Um, when I'm reading or working or whatever. Oh, my laptop's gonna die. Um, but yeah, it came with this little card, because I just thought the necklace was cute, yes, you know, I, I think I already said this, but yeah, it represented the goddess, but, you know, it doesn't say on here anything about her, but um, it just says balance, um, the divine feminine as maiden, mother, and crone. The triple moon symbolizes all the aspects of female power, uniting intuition and psychic insight, creative energy, wisdom, and mystery. And she's definitely a mysterious one. And she's all about, like, the three crossroads, you know, that's why it's, like, the three faces. Um, she, oh, and the dog, she, she's usually seen um, with a dog or the snakes, she's, or her hair is, like, snakes or whatever. But I, this dog, um, his name's Reese, he's sleeping. Where is he? I don't even know. Um, I have, like, the best dog in the world. I just saw a picture of him because I wanted a chihuahua and my husband was like, hey, would you like him? And... He was like nothing like I had imagined, and he was a lot bigger than um, a normal chihuahua. Everyone calls him like, they always ask like, how's a pit bull doing? Because um, my chihuahua is humongous. He's just like long and tall, and he's not that big. Uh, I would go get him, but um, he's so cute, and he actually like, he ended up being the best dog in the world. Like I just saw his like face in the picture at the, the pound or whatever, and I was so, it was just like heartbreaking. He just seemed so cute, and he had like the tears like coming down, and uh, and then like my husband didn't get him, but I was like, why didn't you get him? And he's like, oh, I didn't think that, you know, that was the kind you wanted. It's like, I wasn't going to be like, oh my god, that's not the, that's not the dog I wanted. Like, I just said I wanted a chihuahua. It doesn't have to be like, um you know, specific, like, oh, that chihuahua's not good enough, like, 
Uh, so we, end, we ended up going back and getting him, and he is amazing. So to me, that's another way of, um, like, I just, I feel like I have the best dog in the entire world. Like, he follows me everywhere. He's overprotective. He hates guys, box guys all the time. Um, he's just playful. He's funny. So much funny. He cracks me up. I'll be in, like, such a, like, deep, deep thinking mode, like, mood, and just kind of blah, and he'll just do something hilarious <laughs> so yeah um i don't know it's just a little vlog on hecate symbols i just felt like talking making a video um but yeah if you have any questions or anything ask me i guess i could probably give a shot at answering them um <clears throat> i did want to you know for peeps for some of you who don't know who hecate is i i did actually really want to talk about her a little bit because she is my patron goddess. I'm actually going to go to the library and print out some pictures of her. I mean, I have this this crazy Greek, um, ooh, it's got, it's definitely got wax all over it. But, um, yeah, this is one of the books I picked up. Um, she's in there somewhere. But I have to actually um, bring this back. I've had it for, like, ever. Um, but, yeah, so... I just want to go print out some pictures of her, and I'll actually, I'm going to make a video later with my eye touch. I really want you guys to see my altar. Um, I love it. It's, um, I've been, like, I've been making um, a sacred circle out of seashells, with seashells just surrounding me everywhere. It's really cool and all when you look at it, but it, you know, it's on the floor, and, and it's kind of hard to keep it, you know, there because, you know, the dog messes it up, or... Um, you know, I have to vacuum, and I have to pick all the shells up, so I'm loving my little altar here. It's right in front of the window, so I'm actually using an iron board as, like, a little desk thing right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I would love to show you guys my altar. I'm pretty sure I showed you pretty much, uh, the symbols, uh, that I really wanted to point out. Um... I think amber, I have, I have beads, um, and I didn't even know that amber, actually, maybe amber isn't one of her, um, like, symbols, but, um, I have a whole bead kit of all amber beads, so I'm really excited to make a, brace, a couple bracelets, maybe an anklet or something with those, um, so yeah, and I didn't even know, you know, all of a sudden I'm just discovering all this information about her and summing it all up together, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> so yeah, um, just cool fun fact, um, how, you know, I see it, you know, my goddess, um, and I definitely have, can relate to her in a lot of ways, um, compared to some of the other goddesses, I mean, I definitely have a dark side and I have a light side, I mean, we all, everything is balanced, and that's why I got this balance necklace, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the only one I have to oversize my, my pentacle, um, but yeah. So, um, that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed my video. Bless and be.